My name's Sean, and I'm uh, one of the founders of this event. Well, basically, we wanted to have like-minded people get together, crank loud, cool punk rock music, and look at motorcycles. I mean, originally the event was going to be a little event, and then it just exploded in this big event, so we've just kind of been going with it. It's cool because a lot of people that show up here are like locals that don't even have motorcycles, and it seems like it brings families and people in the neighborhood together. It attracts people that bring in brand new motorcycles. It uh, attracts a lot of uh, DIY crowd that, that I'm into and resurrecting old motorcycles. We've been promoting cafe racers and uh, rat bikes and vintage bikes for practically 20 years. It's kind of a close-knit crew, so we also wanted to do something that was more encompassing to the entire motorcycle community rather than just our tight buddies. Well, it is a cafe racer event and rat bikes and vintage, but people show up on anything and it's a really uh, welcoming community and uh, I think you'll be surprised at how casual it is. It doesn't matter, for the most part, what you ride, it's that you ride. Meet up with anybody anywhere and you're riding, you're pretty much friends. I think maybe it's lack of experience would be, like, would be a lot of the reasons for accidents or not trusting yourself or your motorcycle. People need to spread the word a little bit about that kind of stuff. Unfortunately, a lot of people think that riding a motorcycle is just like driving a car and it's completely different. There's so much more you need to do when you're on a bike than in a car. I think that there should be some uh, communication about training and actually doing it. There are a lot of people who go down and, you know, a lot of it is rider air. So if we can get word out that there are more classes and training courses and stuff out there, I think a lot more people would be involved in it. Part of the whole thing is, you know, if you don't learn one way, you're going to learn another. So, which comes down to thinking for yourself and being responsible. I, I would say a lot of problems people get is maybe having a couple beers and driving. Riding takes so many different skills and balance is a big part of it. And I just think it's crazy to drink and ride. I'm concerned about it, people getting hurt at the event all the time, but I think people are responsible a lot for themselves that show up to this event. It's kind of designed to start early and end early, and it's not supposed to be a stay all night thing. It pretty much ends when it gets dark. We all look out for each other, and if someone's drinking too much, we, we take action. If you've been riding long enough, you'll, you'll do the same thing for your friends, because you see it happen, people drink too much and they do get hurt. It's important to us that you don't because we want to keep having an event and we don't want any incidents or people to be driving drunk and getting in trouble. Most of all, I would say we wouldn't want to see anyone getting hurt. And it would make us feel terrible. Well, the key is that the partying is incidental to the environment. You know, it's, it's more about the vibe that you see here. It's more about that than anything else. The focus is on having a good time, enjoying the camaraderie here, and enjoying the fine machines that we're seeing out here. I think everyone has a good heart that comes here. I mean, because they they're genuinely in love with motorcycles, so that's what brings people together. We really just want everyone here to have a great time and meet a bunch of friends and go home safe. And I think so far that's what everyone does.